Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how we can publish our Ionic app to App Store. As you can see, uh, my app is running right now in browser. All right, so we need to execute some command to you know add the Android project. So let me go back to VS Code. And since I've already executed, so I'm not executing, but this command uh, basically will be executed npx cap and it just to create the capacitor config file and then i have an ionic cap add to add the android project or android folder you can see on uh, in my in my vs code all right once you have done these two things now you have to click on i mean you have to execute this command ionic cap sync which will actually just the sync your project to let it run Okay, so this command is executed. After that, you need to execute Ionic Cap open and then select uh, Android, which will actually, you know, open the Android Studio. Uh, so one more thing, you have to have the Android Studio installed on your local machine. Okay, in my case, it's already open. So you can see the same application showing. All right, so once you execute that command, you have to click on this uh, RES folder, resource folder, and then click on new and click on this after that uh, image assets. All right, so after that, what you need to do, you need to click on this foreground layer. That basically is basically to, you know, upload your logo of your app. Yeah, okay, so maybe once you select, uh, you can give uh, your image path and then adjust or, uh, you know, if you, it's not coming properly. And if, uh, if, let's say, if your image is small or something like you can go to background layer and you can select the color of your app so that it will look, you know, like uh, it won't show the white space that I mean to say that. Okay, once you do that job, what you need to do, you need to go to your folder where you have your project. And I, I told you, right, when you click on, uh, I mean, when you execute Ionic uh, Cap Add, which basically create the Android app project, right? It will create a folder. So let me go inside this folder and I'll show you. You have to go to resource folder again. And which is over here, you can see it created basically, you know, these many folders. These are nothing but, you know, mobile phones of like a multiple different different size of uh, screen right so we have to cover all those screens what you need to you need to create those screens a splash screens maybe i'll show you what i'm trying to say since uh, i'm running the uh, you know simulator or emulator you can see here let me close this and open it again click on this app which i'll show you i created and you see this screen this is nothing but a splash screen so each phone will have different sizes right so that's why you need to create those uh, you know basically some certain screens how you will create it you can i have used uh, you know canva to create that so basically when you create that from android project right using the command it will create these folder and it will have default image okay so what you need to do you can go to each image uh, like uh, and check the properties and you can see the size maybe yeah here so the size is uh, 120, I mean like 1280 into 720 pixel. What you do, you go to Canva. You create all the images manually. I mean, this is the best way I found it. I There are tools available to create it, but sometimes I observed like, uh, you know, screens are not, you know, properly coming. The problem is like when you deploy, you see that sometimes some, this screen gets uh, stretched from somewhere if the size is not proper. So that's why I'm recommending to do that. So once you create all those images, like for example, I showed you, right? So these images and you are put your logo in the center. All right, using Canva or you can use any other tool. The only thing is you need to make sure you have to go to that folder and make sure you have, you know, the size of that image it should be proper. And then once you create all those images, go back to these folder. Let's say I go to this folder and I check the, maybe I can mouse over also and 800 into 480 so the image drag the image of that particular size and override with this one and make sure you have this splash.png as a name if you want to change it you can change that also but you need to change in the uh the background uh, xml file also all right once that part is over uh, what you need to do oh, you need to do one more thing you need to create your white told you already i will use the canva only for that and then after you have to create your uh, you know google play store account okay so for that you need to pay uh, 25 dollar as a one-time fee once you have done that you can you know create your app so there is a button called create app and you can fill let me let's just uh, create 
a sample form for you let's say a test i say it's a app type not a game type it's a free app and i'll just check this and create okay so basically you need to you know go into each task let's say we start with the let's say that testing i'll tell you what you need to do with it let's, let's skip for now okay so let's say first thing you need to set your privacy policy uh, website link you can get that here and let me go back once you do that you need to go to second step so basically you need to complete all this step it's saying like whether your app support ads whether you are selling something whether it's educational app whether it's a financial app stuff like that you have to you know check these uh, checks over here okay once you have done that basically what you need to do in the end you have to come to you will be coming to this main store listing app okay so there what you need to do you need to give your app name and then give a short description and you need to have a full description make sure you have properly created this description it's sometime what happened they may reject your app also so in that case they will tell you what is the issue with that app whatever you have published so sometimes your title says something and your description says something else or maybe your logo says something else or your splash screen uh, says something else, or maybe some different kind of issue let's say they they'll be doing uh, small testing right when you click uh, upload your app to uh, open testing it may crash right so those certain days that they will reject your app they will not publish your app and they will give you a report based on that report you need to fix all those issues and once the issues are fixed you can come back to the same page again and upload your uh, app bundle and you know publish your app okay so so i'm saying like give your app name description and the full description and then let's go to the graph part first thing you need to create an app app oh, sorry app icon the size of the app icon should be this i created as i told you here in canva you create a, you can also create your uh, logo back to this app again then you need to create your graphics uh, feature graph it's basically it's nothing but when you come to the play store home screen this is the background image which will be shown on the top of your or i would say in the back of your app name or right, if you have any video you can give a, a video link and then you need to create these are mandatory screens so so basically you need to create close to you know you, you have to have like two to eight images of your app you, there are tools available as i already told you you can use those tools also or i create it just manually using the canva then you need to create images for the seven inch tablet screenshots there also you need to upload uh, all the images and once you upload all the images that's you just need to say, say now i'll tell you how you will create the app go back to android studio again click on this uh, build and then you have to come to generate signed build apk click on it there are two things here apk and apk bundle select the android app bundle and click on uh, then you have to click on next once you click on next you will see this form you have to basically if you have existing uh, you know your i key you can create, uh, you choose that and put that alias name and the password otherwise you can click on create new put the uh, path and the while creating obviously you will be giving the alias name and the password put that over here and click on next once you do that it will create a app uh, you know bundle file maybe i'll show you in my case it created here so it will create a, 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 a double a file okay so once you create that file you come to this screen and then i'll show you what you need to do with respect to test first so there is a section called testing you need to you know click on this uh, internal testing i'll tell you what is the meaning of this internal test what what will happen you need to create a uh, create new release and uh, you can you know before that actually you need to set up the uh, environment for the internal testing so you can you know add many as many as you want uh, people give the their gmail account email id and then click on create new release and then you upload this file which i just now showed you the aaa file all right so once you upload that file and then say publish what will happen uh, it takes normally around one hour or something and then you can go to your you know your, uh, your mobile device and select this app search this app and uh, you know you'll be getting as a um, you can see the same app over there and you can just start testing whether it's working or not working obviously you can use your emulator also uh, to do all the testing all right 
now one more thing once that is done you can do one more stuff here you can promote this to you will let's say open testing where it will be you know like uh, it will be available for everybody and you will get the results also there whether your screen is perform or app is so you know like working or not and then once you are confident that your app is working you can just promote this release to production and click save and release that's it and after that it takes around uh, I mean, it depends on the, your app. By the way, it takes around one to seven days, and uh, your uh, you know app will be released to Google Play Store. All right. If there is an issue in that app, they will give you a. I mean, they will give a report actually over email, I think. And once that is done, you have to fix those. Otherwise, it won't be easy. So fix those uh, issues if you are getting. If you are not getting, then definitely you will be able to see your app in your Google Play Store. Alright, so that's pretty much about this video. Thanks very much.